Hi guys, Irish Trekkie here, bringing you my first look unbox of the Nerd Block. Nerd Block that I just received today. Um, this is a collection of nerdy goodness that comes from a company called Nerd Block, which I will provide the information in the description box below. But I um, was pleasantly surprised that they shipped to Ireland, and I decided to invite my wife. Introduce yourself. Hello. Uh, that's my wife Cynthia, uh, so she's going to give me her opinion on whatever is inside this box as well. So uh, we have our trusty um, package that was delivered there very quickly. Um, I ordered this a couple of weeks ago, but they don't ship them until the 15th of every month. And it actually shipped from uh, Canada on the 15th while I tried to open this box poorly. And uh, it actually got to Ireland on the 16th, so uh, hugely surprised um, on the efficiency of the Canadian Post. Fair play. I salute you. So as I did a very poor attempt at trying to get into that. Um, but yeah, so it only took only a matter of days to get to me here. Um, but before I open up that, it's basically, uh, from what I remember, it's $20, 19 dollars um, with shipping for me, it turned out to be twenty three euros and fifty three cent, which is still okay. If it was cheaper, I wouldn't be complaining, but I don't think it's too expensive either. Um, but these come every month with a whole host of goodies um, that hopefully I will like, and uh, you'd be pleasantly surprised at as well. But again, I leave the descriptions in the box below. What do you think of this idea? Uh, yeah, I'm interested to see what's going to be inside. Are you a nerd at heart? I don't know, we'll find out. <laughs> I caught it off guard there, guys. <laughs> this is her first time on uh, YouTube doing something like this, so fair play to her, fair play to her. Okay, so um, I have the outside box open, so let's have a look at what's inside. Probably, oh, here we go. Awesome. Uh, okay, so when you open up the box, uh, you're greeted by this fantastic little uh, hashtag nerd block. So they do encourage you to take Instagrams, do videos, just spread the word on these. But um, I'm not going to show you what's inside the card just yet. But um, uh, we leave that as a surprise. So, cool. So I'm going to change a few little things around here just so we can get you a good perspective on what's in the box here. I can see a little bit of a glimpse. Uh, I'm happy with what I can see so far, but let's bear with it and see how it goes. So, yes. So, um, I'm kind of thinking on the go here of what to say. So this is kind of fairly organic. But um, every box comes with a t-shirt and a whole host of other little goodies. Um, so I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I do like green. So uh, let's see what we have here. Um... Fett is coming. So I'm just going to do a bit of a cut to what this shirt is like. So here's the t-shirt, um, just folded out here just to give you a perspective of what it is. So you have a great graphic on the front here um, saying Fett is coming. Do you know who Fett is? Yeah. Who's Fett? Uh... Pop quiz! <laughs> Baba Fett. He's in He's... Star Wars. <laughs> Star Wars, there you go. So uh, Baba Fett, um, the bounty hunter from Star Wars. So this is a very Star Wars heavy uh, well, I wouldn't say heavy, but there's a quite a good bit of Star Wars in this uh, box. But um, nice colour. Um, it's quite a big shirt, but uh, I won't do a modelling show for you. Mm -hmm. But uh, what do you think over it? Like? Yeah, I mean, um, like you said, it is for, for the size for XL. It seems pretty big, but I would not order a smaller size because when you wash it, it feels like, you know, it might shrink because it has that kind of cotton that... It feels like once it's washed, it will feel like a vintage T-shirt, which I like. Vintage. Like it softens down, and if it does, you know, you don't want to, you know, you want to have room for shrinkage. So I don't think to order a smaller size, but it is looks like a big XL. Cool. As they go. Right. So let's see what's in the rest of the box. Okay. Okay. So uh, that shirt was pretty cool. Um. So yeah, I am a bit of a Star Trek, a Star Wars fan. Uh, I do like Star Trek more. But um, Cynthia likes Star Wars, I think, a little bit more so than Star Trek. But don't hit her on that. <laughs> we'll see when I learn more about Star Trek. <laughs> Be easy in the comments, guys. Be easy in the comments. Okay, so I have a little Darth Vader uh, plush toy, which is pretty cool. I, uh, I, I love this. It's like a little baby Darth Vader. 
the force is strong with this one. So, uh, what do you think of that? I really think it's cute. Yeah, it looks really like... It's not cute. Well, sorry, I probably shouldn't say it's cute, but... It's manly. It, it's... That's I awesome. like it. I like how it, I like the PVC and how it's, it looks like it's put together pretty well as well. Yeah, it's pretty cool to and be honest. And it has yeah. this like proper Star Wars tag. So it's legit. Yeah. It's legit. Yeah, that's cool. Eason has a little control panel. Does this come off? No, no. the helmet no. never okay. comes off. Okay. <laughs> and he has a cape there as well. That yeah, is. Yeah, I, I like cool. it. Cool. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. So let me put two on the side. Okay. That's cool. Um, okay, we have one of those dashboard uh, grips there, which I think you need. I do. She's always, listen, she's always putting the phone on the dashboard, and I'm just waiting for it to break like her other phone mm -hmm. did. Yeah. So I am gifting this to you. I'm not really going to open it. It's, uh, here you go. Yeah, silicone type. Have a look. Okay, I'll, I'll open it. Okay, she's going to open it. I should do this on camera, I suppose. Yeah, learn the trade. It's a good thing I painted my nails. Oh, Come on. Okay. So is it sticky, is it? Um, yes. Oh, very sticky. Really, really sticky. So I think when it's probably on the dashboard, it's on there forever by the feel of it. So will your phone be? Awesome. So I'm oh. saying by the looks of that now, it'll it's, probably it's, fit it's, most MP3 players and maybe even um, GPSs as well, I'd you'd say. You think it has the... It looks like it'll have grooves, but it's just Ooh, smooth. It is super sticky. Yeah, it's very sticky, but it's like, it doesn't have those little bumps. It, they just look like they are, but mm. it's actually smooth on both sides. But yeah, cool. I think it'll work, so awesome. we'll give it a try. Cool beans, cool beans. Okay, um, so what do we have here? We have Super Mario Brothers U. So that's from the Wii U game. So this looks like uh, Danglers. Um... If you're from Ireland, that might mean something different. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I won't go into too much on that. So it looks like they're basically key rings by the looks of it. So, oops, flying out of control here. So we have a little tear on this. Who do we have inside? Ah, who, what? Listen, if you're going to get them, if you're going to have danglers, why not have Yoshi and Mario? Mario mounted on a Yoshi. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Mario mounted. Don't be so foul. <laughs> Mario mounted on the yard. They are having happy fun times. That's pretty cool. You know, for something so small. Like, I think the level of detail in here, let me just get a bit of focus in her. There we go. There we go. Um, for something so small, I think they put a lot of detail in here. You know, if you want to put it on, like, you know, the zipper off a bag or, I don't know, like, gift them on to your kids or anything like that. That's pretty cool. What do you think? I think it's, yeah. I mean, for, That's right like up you your said, alley. for the, well... For the size of it, there is a lot of detail, like a really lot of detail. And it's fairly sturdy as I move his nose. Yeah, it is. It'd be cute, maybe, you know, some people like to put things on their phones. I don't know. They yeah, probably do true. that with this, you know. Yeah, cool beans. Are you going to use it as a key ring? Or? Uh, no. No. Do you want it? <laughs> <laughs> I might use it, yeah. Bum, bum, bum. Toadstool. Hold on to Mario. And Mario as the kind of super square thing. I can't remember. Hit me up in the comment section below on the name of those characters. Enough? No, no, see, it has the ears here oh, as right, well okay. on that. So there, there is the flyer inside. I think it's, a f as from the collection that's there on the flyer, I think this is one of the better ones, honestly. Okay, cool yeah. beans, okay. cool beans. Okay, so we have something big in the bottom of the box. Oh. So, what is this? Okay. It's heavy. Oh. Star Wars sticker sheets included. It's a, what is this? No, Paper craft no, playset no. from Boxos. Is that Boxos? Be Oxos? Bo Boxos, <laughs> Boxos. Yeah. So, um, that looks cool. It's kind of like Minecraft kind of square characters. So you get all the characters. And this looks like the um, scene where um, Han Solo gets turned into a carbonite statue, which is pretty cool. Um, but you also have the scene oh, okay. from uh, when Luke... And uh, I am your father. Seen from um, the Battle Star, so it's double sided uh, as well. So that's pretty cool. So double sided. So you have two activity scenes here, and then you have all of the characters. So you see the way they just click in together there. So we have Boba Fett um, from the T-shirt. Uh, Lando. We have um, Chewie. Um, we have all the pretty much all the main characters there. Darth Luke. Uh, Leia and Han Solo. Mm -hmm. uh, who's your favorite Star Wars character? Well, it's Yoda, but you know he's not there. So mm -hmm. um, I figure. Oh, do we get these guys as well? 
Out of that bunch, who do I like best? Uh, Darth Vader. Ah, interesting, mm. interesting. I'm more of a Han Solo kind of guy, but that's just the way the cookie crumbles. So, yeah, uh, oh, it's actually, the list of them all down here as well. Ooh. So, Han Solo and Carbonite, Cloud City, Carbonite, Freezing Chamber, Sticker Sheets, blah, blah, blah. I do see some little um, troopers down here with uh, R2-D2 units, so I wonder Ooh. if that was in. So, um, I'll do a little separate video on this to assemble it. I won't kind of go too much into this, but that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, if I do say so myself, that might go on I'm a shelf somewhere. I'm to see how, um, you know, how good it'll be when it's put together. If mm. it, you know, if it's sturdy if it's sturdy or, or anything know, yeah. like that, yeah. But it looks fairly cool, so yeah, mm, it's pretty good. cool. The value is strong with this one. Okay, <laughs> so um, that's that, and looks like what we have done here is a Spider-Man, uh, the Amazing Spider-Man. Let me just get a quick look here. So Comic. issue one. Variant edition from the convention exclusive. Uh, not so much exclusive anymore when they're sending them here. So Fan Expo. So let's have a quick look at this. Uh, I do like Spider-Man. Yeah. Uh, I will. I will. Okay. I don't think it's a total collector's item now okay. if all nerd block owners have them. Yeah, true. So, uh, yes, I am soiling um, the magazine. Sorry, but I wash my hands, so they're not greasy. You should have said sullied. So, sullied, soiling, soiling is a sorry. Different thing. <laughs> okay, sullied. But um, let's have a quick look at the magazine itself. Uh, artwork is pretty cool. We have a nudie Spider Man in a nappy by the looks of it. Mm. Uh, a Spidey Web nappy. Mm. Okay, interesting. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Again, what I like about this first look is that a lot of the stuff I wouldn't be able to get here in Ireland um, so I'm happy with what's been uh, included in this oh here we go that's pretty cool uh, little insert there so yeah that's it's a pretty thick magazine as well um, comic so that's pretty awesome Marvel now so Spider-Man coming at you so we have the Spider-Man we have uh, the dangler. We have the grip tights. Not grip tights. The pad that you put on a dashboard or Man something like that. Grip. We have tiny Vader. And we also have. Get it, this into frame. We have the play set. And then we have. That's the paper craft set. And then we have. The t shirt. T shirt. Which is of pretty good quality, I think. The washing instructions, annoyingly, are in the American uh, oh, symbol, poor, poor, so I'll have to look it up, but... Oh, he's coming. Can I just say, though? He's coming. Smell it. Okay, hang on. It smells... What does it smell like, please? It smells like it nerd. It smells like McDonald's barbecue sauce. So that makes you happy? Well, you know. She likes the barbecue sauce. It's not sauce. unpleasant. It's, I, I like the t-shirt. I, I like the colour. I'm glad you got the green. Mm. Because you don't see a lot of that colour. I mean, you know, you'll get a lot of black and everything. You've lots of black already, so that's and good. And I'm getting this in XL. You can pick your size of shirt, folks. Which, by the way, it, it looks big as XLs go because I measured a mm. minute ago. And it looks like a big fit. But mm. that's kind of standard with American sizes versus Maybe European. Maybe I should downgrade the size. Your versus European. I wouldn't because you don't know when it's washed. It may have room True. for shrinkage. So Good thinking, Batman. Good thinking. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, that's been a first look uh, at the Nerdblock unboxing. Um, I'm happy with it, to be honest with you. Um, as you say, I paid 23.53 euro on this. And I think I got good value um, out of it. Um, some things I probably wouldn't have gone to ever buy. Um, but I like to get the surprise every... Uh, every time I open these things as well. No, I say every time. I've never done this before. This is my first one. So um, be gentle on the reviews. But um, what do you think, think overall? Yeah, um, honestly, for the for the money it cost, for 23 euros, I think you did very well. Considering, I mean, you'd probably pay, what, 15 to 20 just for the shirt? Shirt alone in yeah, Ireland, in yeah. in Ireland, in, in our, you know... 15, 15 euro or something. And the, the Darth Vader... What, what are you, you going to say? I'd, I mean, he's if you walked into a shop, I'd say probably... 10, uh, 15. 10 euro? Yeah. 8, 10 euro, Honestly, I'd say. Honestly, yeah. That'd be a couple um, of euro by itself, even though, like, I would never buy one of these. I wouldn't buy one, but I mean, you... Your I do think you got good value, so yeah. I mean, mm. thumbs up for the first one. 
Hopefully this was a little bit of an odd inclusion, I would have thought. But at the same but time... But you're definitely going to use it. But I am going to use it, exactly. I wouldn't have thought to have expected it there, but I, but I am going to use it. So. Interesting. Mm. Yeah, I can't comment too much on the comic, because I really don't read comics, and I'm sure you make a proper judgment on that. Yeah, but she's I like, not into YouTube. I do like the look of this little... Um, Papercraft. Papercraft thing. That could be fun. Papercraft place nice it. But I'll, I'll be interested to see what it's like. But I mean, you know. It's, no it's scissors, no tape, no glue. Something kid that's friendly. just a little bit fun and different, you know. Kind mm. of quirky on a shelf or something. So yeah, overall I think you did well in this one. Mm. Let's see. So, I don't know. Uh, I might just see what another one is like. Just to see if it's kind of consistent. Mm -hmm. Or whether this was a poor one. Or whether it was a good one. And if they maintain it that way. Now, you're not in a subscription-based. Um, it's just you, you pay every month. And you can opt out whenever you want. And opt back in and so on and so forth. But like, there's a whole host of these uh, different types. Like Loot Crate and um, oh, some... Oh, what was it? Booty Chest or something like that. Um, but you can't get them in Ireland. Uh, oh. Loot Crate ships to the UK. But can't get them in Ireland. Typical. We're mm -hmm. literally across... The freaking Irish Sea, yep. but can't get them. Story yep. off my life. And that's the thing, what I like about this, like, um, you might get a lot of these on Amazon, but when you ship them to Ireland, it's just not worth it. It's not. The shipping is ridiculous. So, fair play yeah. to Canada. So this was a good Canada, I salute you. Merci beaucoup. Yeah. Um, for your French-speaking Canadians. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, uh, thanks for joining uh, us on this. And uh, thanks to my wife. My wife. You're welcome. Um, her first time in one of my videos. So, mm -hmm. uh, be kind in the comments. But if you have any constructive feedback or any comments at all, thoughts and opinions, do hit the comments section below. I'd uh, love hearing from you guys and your support is much appreciated. But I've been Irish Trekkie. You've been... Cynthia. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, hope you enjoyed the video Irish, Irish Trekkie wife I don't know <laughs> <laughs> Mrs Trekkie yeah. Um, but yeah cool beans uh, see you on the next video and talk to you later guys bye. good luck bye bye hi guys thanks for watching today's video if you did like it why not hit the like and share button down beneath the video and if you're not yet a subscriber why not hit that lovely subscribe button while you're there also your support is much appreciated and again thanks for watching the video and i hope you enjoyed it take it easy i've been irish Trek.